What is the lifespan perspective? The lifespan perspective is an approach to understanding development that takes all stages into account. Rather than taking a simplified view of development, for example, by viewing development as a one-way process, the lifespan perspective views development as complex. Specifically, it considers development to be multidirectional, multicontextual, multicultural, multidisciplinary, and plastic. Let's consider each of these characteristics in turn. A multidirectional view of development acknowledges that human growth is not always linear, not always steady, and not always forward. Episodes of discontinuity, sudden changes, are common. However, continuity, gradual growth, or even stasis is common as well. Both growth and decline occur throughout one's lifetime. At various points, certain changes must occur for development to continue on its typical course. These points are called critical periods. At other points, changes are most likely to occur, though they can occur at other times. Such optimal points are called sensitive periods. Taking a multidirectional view requires acknowledging that development can occur outside of typical time frames. There are always exceptions to the rules. A lifespan perspective requires acknowledgement that human beings are influenced by the many contexts they live in, family, work, community, etc. According to Bronfenbrenner's ecological systems approach, development is highly influenced by many contexts or systems and thus must be studied and understood within these systems. One system, society, can change dramatically from generation to generation. Thus, people are also influenced by historical factors that shape the society in which they live. Similarly, as we will see, socioeconomic status plays a large role in several aspects of development and thus must be considered when understanding achievement of or failure to achieve developmental milestones. Adherence to the lifespan perspective also stress the multicultural nature of development, meaning that culture plays a large role in people's attitudes, feelings, and behaviors. Culture is a social construction, meaning an idea that people use to organize their experience. Throughout this course, we will consider whether and how culture, broadly defined, contributes to various experiences at different stages of development. Be careful, however, to avoid two traps, overgeneralizing about cultural groups and equating differences among groups as deficits. For example, you might be tempted to assume that all people from a particular cultural group think or act a certain way, when this is clearly not the case. Similarly, you might fall into the trap of assuming, perhaps unconsciously, that people who are different from you in some key way are inferior. Taking a multicultural perspective will help you avoid these errors. One of the most interesting things about studying development is that our understanding of development is due to not one, but many disciplines. From anthropology to neuroscience to psychology to education, multiple perspectives are needed to understand the complexity of human growth. To say that development is plastic refers to its malleability. For the most part, we human beings are not hardwired for a single outcome, but instead are shaped by our experiences. However, development is also durable in the sense that there is consistency in our identities across time. In other words, development reflects the dynamic interplay between biology and environment. Change is ongoing, and our experiences help determine what aspects of our biological makeup are expressed. In summary, a lifespan perspective takes the entire trajectory of human development in context into account. For each mini lecture, there will be one or two reflection questions. There are no absolute right or wrong answers, though you should think about what you have learned in the mini lecture, what you have read in the text, and what your own experiences with the topic are when responding. This is an informal self-assessment of what you know and is good preparation for the exam. However, you do not have to turn in any written answer to these reflections. They are strictly for your own benefit. Answers are not provided because each person's answer will be unique. How has your own development been influenced by the cultures in which you grew up and which you now live in? Of the many contexts, family, friendships, school, work, etc., that you have experienced in your life, has one been particularly important in shaping your development? Explain why.